This is code.org. We have some puzzles, we have a brain, and we got motivation, I think, right? Yep. All right, let's get coding. This is code.org. Let's see what we have. We have set the variable length to 50. What will happen when you hit run? Keep in mind, students, when you select an answer and hit run, your answer does get locked in. You can't change it, and it gets submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. So let's think about this before just clicking. All right. When run, set the length to 50. All right. So I guess something's being set to 50. Repeat three times. Now, repeat everything in this pink mouth thing must run three times, that means. So it says, okay, three times. Do. Okay, first move forward by length pixels well what what was length hmm the computer's gonna think what the what oh smack oh 50. okay so move forward by what length smack oh 50 move forward by 50 pixels plump and we move forward by 50 pixels then code always runs in order we go down one line I turn left by 120. so i would go zoop, this way now, 120 is more than a right angle, so I think I'd go like that, right? Hit the bottom, pink loop, right? This pink mouth thing, everything in it, zoop. Now I have to do it two more times. That was my first time. Do move forward by length. Oh, wait, what was length? Mm, oh yeah, it's 50. So the computer, every time it sees the word length, just knows it means 50. So I'd move forward 50, I turn left 120, zoop. Hit the bottom, back again, forward. Huh, well, if I'm gonna move forward three times, the same length, and each angle is 120 degrees. Sounds like a triangle to me. Um, make sure, though, you're thinking about this. Does that sound like one to you? But, uh, I hope it did. Onward. Video. Next. Let's start by drawing this, with this section by drawing a triangle with 150 pixel sides. Be sure to use the length variable and a repeat loop. So I'm going to start off by ignoring that. Let's just see if we can make this happen. So I need this dude to go around and draw this triangle. All right, actions. Let me go ahead and move for, oh, by length. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to start, oh, they're not even, ah, they're beating me to it. Fine. So we have to use it. And I was going to fight them on it. Uh, move forward by length. That's funny. They're doing that. Um, all right, so length isn't a length. I can hit run, it's going to say, what? Something's not right. We need length to be a length. So I'm headed down here to my friend variables, and I'm going to click variables. Now, set length to 50. So I'm going to drop this here, right? Because I move forward, it's yelling at me, it says, what the heck is length? And so now length's set to 50, and everything's going to go great. I'm lying to you, nothing went great. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> Code always runs in order, and it's something we're going to need to keep in mind. So when I hit run right now, the computer says, all right, smack, move forward by length pixels. Oh, okay, I need to go forward. What? And it just throws the dude off the screen. The next line, it says, oh, length's 50. That's nice. It never knows when it gets to this line that length is 50, because that's down here. We might as well have it all the way down here. It reads this line, it tries to run that code, and length is equal to nothing, right? Our variable right now is not equal to anything, has no idea what we're talking about, and breaks. If we want it to understand, we need to first, when I hit run, the first thing I should do is make sure it knows, hey, hey you, my friend computer, <laughs> length is equal to 50. So now it knows, oh, length is 50. So now when I move forward by length, it will be like, move forward by length. What the heck's length? Smack. Oh, they mean 50. Move forward by 50. And keep going. So every time I say length, it just knows 50 and the code won't break. Yay, we're done. Not even close. That's not a triangle. So I need to do this three times. We've gotten pretty good at loops. I'm headed over to a loop. Repeat three times. I'm going to drop this. Everything in this pink mouth thing. Now everything in this will happen three times in a row. Well, I'm just going to walk forward three times in a row right now, which gets me to there. So obviously, we're not going long enough. 150 pixel sides, let me change that. Now all my sides are longer, and I'll draw them three times in one big row. Still a problem. We got a turn. Thankfully, we got a tip from the first one. Let's do an action, turn, and maybe I'll move forward. And now I want to make sure if I put this down here, it will only happen at the end. If I put it here, it will only happen at the beginning. 
I want it to happen every, all, every time I draw a line. So inside of the loop, boom, we did it. Onward. This is code.org. Let's keep going. Rebuild the triangle code from the last puzzle. But this time, also add a new block to the add 10 length. Okay. Last puzzle, we made this triangle. And so what we did first was we needed to create a variable because if I go to actions here and drop in move forward by length that ain't gonna work so I need to go to variables and tell it what that length is now we have to tell it the length before we ask it to draw because code runs in order when I hit run set the length to 50 and now we'll move forward by 50 because the computer will see the word length and know oh yeah length is 50 now it told us we needed it 150 and we needed a turn to do a triangle. So we did that too. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go double check the last puzzle. Uh, head back a little bit in this video. So now I'm going to do one side. And now if I put all of that in a loop like this, right? Everything in this loop will run three times. Cool. So now I'm back to where we were last puzzle. Now they want something else though. But also add this block, a new block to add 10 to length each time the loop finishes. So each time it finishes. Now, a loop is done after it runs everything. So let me go to my variables, change the length. I see that 10 and I'm going to drop it here. I'm wrong. And the reason I'm wrong here, guys, is this way it will add 10 every time I draw a line. 10's added. 10's gonna be, oh, by 10. So it's gonna change it by 10 every time it goes around. So that's not what they're looking for. They want it changed by 10 is 150. New block to add 10 to the length each time the loop finishes. Well, keep in mind what I just said a repeat does. This loop, it runs all the code three times in a row, right? Well, three times in a row, then what am I doing? I am setting the length to 150. I move forward by length. I turn 120 degrees. I change the length to 10, right? So now my length is 160. I hit the bottom of my loop, zoop, back up here. And then what do I do? I set the length to 150. Wait a minute. So way down here, though, I move forward 150, turn left 120, and then I change the length by 10. Well, what's length right now? Length right now would be 150. 150 plus 10 is 160. Cool. We did what we wanted. We changed the length by 10. It's now 160. Hit the bottom. Now I have to repeat again. Length is now 150. So every time this loop runs, I could add a million to it, right? It doesn't matter because right here, I'm overwriting it. When the loop starts again, no matter what the length is, it's going to be 150 again since this is inside our loop. And that's why usually we would set a variable outside. So let's outside of our loop say that's what we want our variable to be. And now inside, we should be able to edit it and add 10 each loop. So the first time through, it's now it's 160. Now it's 170 in length. And we end up down there. Onward. This is code.org. Time to make smart. See what happens when you repeat the code from the last puzzle 30 times instead of only three. All right. So we want a triangle. They gave us some of this stuff. Make sure you go back and watch other chunks of this if you're not understanding this. We know we need a variable, right? So I'm going to put my variable out first, and then I'm going to do an action. Move forward by length. Keep in mind, you always have to have set before move forward. So now I have set length to 50, then move forward. And so when the computer runs move forward, it will know length is 50. So it just reads this as move forward by 50 pixels. Now we know from the last ones that this can be 150 and we're going to need to turn. So I'm going to do a turn left by 120 and that's just one side. Then what did we do? Well, what we did then is we did a loop to draw the whole triangle. I'm going to drag that out and drop it here. Everything in this pink mouth thing will get repeated three times. So at first we had set in here too. Right. And that's a problem because we don't need to tell it the length of the the side every time we can do it once at the beginning. So I'm going to do set outside of the loop, which we usually should do. And then finally, we need it to get bigger each time. So the last thing we did was then variable change length 
by 10, each time writing 10. Now, we only did it three times before. Let's see what they mean by 30. And what should happen, so now it's 10 more, right? Now it's a 170 length. We're going to do it again. We hit the bottom. 170 is 180. And each time we're adding 10 to the final length of this line, and it just gets massive. If we put set in the center here, guys, I want to show you actually. Watch. So now if I, it doesn't matter if I add 10 to the length because every time the loop runs, I say, yep, length's 150. And when I get down here, okay, length is 150. So it knows length by 10. So 150 plus 10. It, well, now length's 160. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top. Nope, length's 150 again. So we never use it and it will just stay the same the whole time, which is why you want to have set almost always outside of a repeat. Cool. Onward. Here's your code from the last puzzle. Try editing the variable in other ways. What happens if you start with a length less than 150? Oh, okay. What happens? Okay, so let's try 110. Oh, yeah, it just starts smaller and it kind of moves where our original triangle is. Interesting. What happens when you change the length by a number greater than 10? Okay, well, I'll go back to 150 then. And what if I do... Greater than 10, what if I do 15 or even 20? I bet we're just going to go off the page really quick, but let's see. Yeah, oh, it gets wider, though, because now each time I draw a line, at the very end, I add more space, so there's more area in between. What happens if you turn right, if you turn by 119? I think I know it's going to happen here. 119, let's try that. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Cool, onward. Free play, favorite. Take what you've learned to make your own drawings. How can you use variables with squares, pentagons, hexagons? Awesome. So right now we're making a triangle. So let's go ahead and also do, oh, I'm going to have so much fun. So how can I use variables with, I'm going to do another, I'm going to do another loop and I'm going to throw a square in here. So a square is obviously four sides and I'm going to say actions forward by length however so i set length here to 150 now i'm gonna say and i'm just messing around i have no idea what's gonna happen uh change length nah yeah no let's do change length and i'm gonna now do uh negative five okay and then how many times am i gonna do this well it's four sides for a square, so I'll do, for a square, I'll go ahead and do a turn. Up, oh, action, turn. 90 degrees for a turn, right, because it's a square. And then let's turn the opposite. No, that's fine. Let's see what happens, actually. I'm not even sure yet. And I'm already off the screen. So let's go. That's fine. I'm going to start with 15. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Oh, and then I'm going to add. Oh, I'm having so much fun already. Cool. And now I do one big square. Great. Um, I saw, though, instead of four, right? So I'm turning. Let's do 40. That's divisible. Five. And it should get real small. Ah, I love it. I also saw. Ooh, I got to change my brush. I'm going to set the pattern here. So that will all be rainbow. And then. Oh, my gosh. There's so much to do. Inside of my loop, guys, I'm going to set a random color. So now every line of my square should be a different color, too. Oh, that looks wild. Uh, let's change the length by 15. <laughs> and then, oh, let's actually then, so that pattern isn't, it's ignoring my color. So what if I do this? And then I'll just do a pattern down here after. Let's do that way. Yeah, and now I'll do that pattern. I love this. Okay, I'm having too much fun. You guys should make diamonds, make all sorts of stuff. Have fun with this. Onward. Oh, I love it.